Hey, it's Random Pop Culture News for Girls again. Thank you. Of course, as always, Randy will bring you guys a rest of your intros and outro to channel. My Twitter, Instagram, be sure Brady and Odyssey. Mine's Reddit, just in case the channel gets shut down, shadow banned, God forbid, deleted, or hacked, or DDoS, what have you. Hopefully, none of that ever happens. Anyhow, I keep it a little bit more quieter because, again, I usually say once in a while, I haven't done it because the last four videos I was screaming loud as fuck in the top of my lungs. <laughs> This time I'm really nice sleeping again, so there's that. And then my daughter's sleeping right next to me, so that's a pretty rare parent because she's usually downstairs most of the time I take care of her. <laughs> so uh, if any of you guys don't know my super old video, my critical guy realization match channel, I like a really, really like two old videos of her. That's when she was still a tiny little puppy, and I was just way, way older. She's probably like fortunately two, three years old, till sadly she ends up kicking a bucket and. Uh, it's gonna be the hardest thing in the world for me to let it go, man. It really is, cause it's like a little baby niece and nephew for me, man. Wow, so. Anyways, um, enough of that. Um, I was gonna talk about four other news things. So I'll just have to pause the music here. And then this is like a really, really old, like, thing that happened, like, almost three days or two, three weeks ago this came out. <laughs> I literally heard about it at the end of last month, like, three days ago. Um, but. I don't know. It's probably a generation Gen Z or thing, Zoomer thing. A lot of these kids do. <laughs> Unless they're a weird, creepy uh, YouTube family channel, which I can't stand for the life of me. I don't know why those even exist. Cause this is the ones that were the real big, big, giant family channels. I don't really follow any of these people at all. I hear a lot of drama and hot tea, gossip, rumors, really, really bad, negative, dramatic videos and hot spilled the tea type of shit. When it comes to the big giant YouTuber family channels, those are very, very super problematic mother efforts for sure. They shouldn't be putting their kids on freaking YouTube at all. They have no concept or understanding at all. Uh, how When they get older, they're going to be pissed off about that. I don't know. But um, there's this whole thing when Donald's in the, having this anniversary of one of the old mascots from the 70s, 80s. And that one I grew up with when I was a 90s kid. Because um, I remember it was the hamburger and birdie, but. They wanted to celebrate the Grimace's birthday, Grimace Milkshake. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. A lot of them made me cringe so freaking hard. I don't know how. And I was trending really hard in TikTok, but then again, I never really go on TikTok at all. That's more like younger little generation Z kids. And there's a few grown men and women around there, too, probably. Ones are not, you know, being problematic over there and you know, trying to get underage girls and all that stuff, because whoosh. They're doing that, and they need to go straight to prison, my personal opinion, cause <laughs> that's another reason I would never want to go over there or anything. Fuck that. Unless I'm watching some chick, does VTuber chicks do sometimes, and maybe they'll post something over there, and maybe I can find the conspiracy theory tinfoil hat shit. I'll follow it on TikTok, because it's way, way less regulated over there when it comes to the truth alternative media stuff. At least some of those Gen Z kids are uh, getting very, very smart to a lot of that whole stuff. They know, some of them know politics is a fucking lie. So I'll commend them for that. Anyways, um, there's that. And then the other two I'll probably talk about at the end of the video. Oh, this one here too. I wasn't going to make a video on it. just wanted to mention real super lightning round. I have some thoughts, views, and opinions on it though. But, you know, you got famous way back in 2012, 2013. The whole Five Nights at Freddy's for half game that was out at the time. It's crazy because this October, right before Halloween, three days before that. <laughs> the movie's coming out in live action. Um, but the dude himself, Markiplier, you know, having to go to a hospital for his birthday. He's only like four months younger than me, so that means he was born in 89 too, because he's 34 now and I'm 34. <laughs> and I was 34 way early in January, but anyways. He says, Markiplier visits the hospital after on his birthday and fans are going wild, so. Luckily he's okay, the only thing he got, he was, he got pink eye, that's the only thing on that. So possibly using pains, I've had it a few times before, it is not fun. It's extremely scary and gruesome, and it's the, the worst common cold on the freaking whole planet, in my personal opinion, next to strep throat and freaking that, bronchitis and chicken pox. That's like the worst common cold weather. Even for the whole COVID pandemic, the, the, the COVID-19 situation happened. That was one of the worst sicknesses of all. Any other two I'll talk about has something to do with Elon Musk. Um, he unfortunately made Twitter a fuck ton worse, which sucks. The new policy. And more of the Ocean Gate stuff that they said they made cheap materials. 
beyond Home Depot and Lowe's, they already knew they were expired. It's bad. But let's get to the real reason why you guys are here. Final Fantasy. So it's a Final Fantasy 16. Overheating PS5. Four ways on how to fix it. So this one's from Experter. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Final Fantasy Overheating 16 Rebirth. So overheating PS5 is a common issue when you're facing. It may it can be solved by cleaning the PlayStation 5, but then reading the guide by reading the guide over here. So I might read on another one. I think there was another one, Tech Raptor or Clutch Points that had this type of news too, so I might read it from there. This comes from I'm just gonna say it, Ali. Final Fantasy was released a while ago and the title is causing some trouble for PlayStation 5 users. FF16 Rebirth overheating the PS5 is one of the current issues fans are facing. This issue can cause many problems for your PlayStation 5, such as excessive noise drops from the framework, and it could also shorten the lifespan of it. Oh, what? It gets shortened the lifespan too? Oh, no. That's a really bad deal. People pay like what, five, six hundred dollars for that console, and it's gonna get cut short instead of not know, lasting eight to ten years. It's gonna be like three or four years instead. What? No. Oh, I feel so bad for me, PlayStation Five owners. You really, really got to get your stuff soldered and fixed up if your your lifespan for the PS Five ends up going a lot more faster than you originally thought it was gonna die out. However, you don't need to worry about it anymore in this guide. I'll explain to you the five reasons for Final Fantasy XVI overheating and how to fix it. This is FF. Uh, blah. First solution is to prevent the PS5 from overheating and improve the airflow. Airflow can be improved by cleaning consoles thoroughly. Yeah, that's what I did for my Switch and a whole bunch of other old consoles. I used to do that for my PS3. So yeah, I did it all the time for my PlayStation 4, like once a month, because. My room is a big giant freaking carpet area. I have to clean it like once every month. Should be once a week, but I do it once a month because I'm too lazy to do it once a week. Now, the third solution is to turn on the HDR. This won't do much, but it can potentially lower overall temperatures. The last solution is to place your PlayStation 5 vertically instead of placing it flat. It can also improve the airflow. The main reason for the overheating is that many users do not clean their PS5 regularly. Yes. Don't clean their PS5 regularly. Some of you piggies and lazy ass mother effers over there, you really gotta get onto your cleaning up your stuff. Even though I'm not really one to talk to because, <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't clean my TV and my fridge and I really like to clean those two bad boys every freaking month instead of every three months. I only do it, um, yeah, I do it every three months instead of once every week or month. See, so, you know, I'm not one to talk. I'm not perfect either. <laughs> Says Final Fantasy 16, 9 was supposed to showcase for the power of the PlayStation 5, but it seems that it backfired. Not all users are having this problem now. Oh, so only some people are having this issue, not everybody. Okay. Many have reported this issue, and the Final Fantasy 16 pushes the PS5 to the extent where it starts overheating. There are other solutions for this problem. Yeah, I hope there's other solutions for the problem, because you're going to give people, you know, give their hopes up. That's no good. There are other four solutions for the problem, so make sure you follow them to solve this overheating issues. And it goes over a bunch of stuff. You can read all this stuff in your own feel like reading this part. I'll probably read the rest of the clutch points on another website, so I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so I couldn't find the one for the clutch points newsline head article, so I'm gonna read it from here. This one's just as good as Push Square, so credit 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 is due to the one that originally made this article here. Uh, Robert Ramsey. So, yeah, big ups to the dude. Since we never encourage this, I'm only going to read half of it, not the entire thing, so links to the description box below if you want to take your own personal time to read it. You're more than welcome to. Since we've never encountered this issue, and because we haven't seen more people talking about it, it's fair to assume that most of the players are using the game's performance mode, which outside of some of the frame rate dips, doesn't have any major problems. We were wondering whether the summer... He is a contributing factor as well, but either way, it's clear that the issue will have to be dealt with. But it's not not often dealt with the game with this capability of forcing the entire system to collapse. Hopefully, Square Enix is on a case and gets to start it sooner rather than later. But until then, we've obviously had recommended switching the performance mode before coming up to the point of Clive's adventures. We run aloof of this particular, particular crashing issue. <laughs> Any dragons 
I don't know if that was Dragoons or Dragons. At all costs, in the comment section down below. Anyways, yeah. And like I said before, thoughts, views, and opinions really, really fast. And the light went off speed that does because you've been on my channel for like 12, 13 years already. You know, for honest, set in stone, solid, concrete fact that I've never been a higher, huge, mega fanboy for the Final Fantasy series like some people on YouTube and Twitter and Twitch and Instagram, TikTok, and other social media platform sites out there. Like, it just never like blended with me. But some people are saying this is like a Devil May Cry, Metal Gear Solid version of freaking um, Final Fantasy. Some people are loving it, so if they would have made Final Fantasy 16 Rebirth the way they would have made it in 1997, with that version when I was a 90s kid, and maybe in another alternate parallel universe, I would have seen myself being a big, huge supporter fanboy for the Final Fantasy franchise series. They would have made it like this. Man, if they could go back in time and redo the whole entire thing over again, this is what I would have been playing big time. I heard there's a lot of gore and a lot of very naughty but it's not safe for worse. Very lustful scenes, like Sentai sort of scenes for real super pretty elf girls, so you could could have signed me up for that really, really big time. Because if it would have been like that back in the day, I would have freaking worshipped this freaking franchise, honestly. But fortunately it wasn't. So yeah, I wish Square Enix would have did like this back in the day, but if they did it would have been like the first M for mature game besides Mortal Kombat or Grand Theft Auto. This would have been the first M for mature game. The first thing that completely changed the game for JRPGs and MMORPG games for Final Fantasy. So there's that. So just two quick other things. Like I said before, this comes from on LBC. Ocean Gate, Stockton Rush. Rush boat expired. Like expired materials used to build subs and the passengers won't fortunately die. So there's that. And then the Elon Musk one. I'm not going to read too, too long into it. There's just the article there if you want to read it yourself. This comes from um, Redders, but it says in the New York Post, and it's Twitter requiring users to log into news. Tweets after Elon Musk cites that it was an emergency measure. It says temporary, but they said that they're cutting off a lot of shit. Like, you're only allowed to put three, 400 posts and retweets, when if you're one that pays 7 or $10 for the verified one, you can do 6000 that's pretty good, but it sucks, man, because they just made Twitter way, way less fucking valuable, man. And as much as I like the stuff and technology Elon Musk is always doing all the time, but that was a bad, shady decision on his part. I don't know if it's one of his people, his advisors, his lawyers, his attorneys told him to do that, or he did it in his own will. It depends. So, yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say. Oh, one more other thing. I really hope they change the fact that, oh, you can only put highlights if you're a fucking member. That's such Bullshit, dude, honestly. I want to change it back to the old way, honestly. There was another one that's supposed to be better on Twitter. I think it was called Via something. I'll leave the links down below if I remember to put it down there. I remember when Parlo was up there three years ago, and then he got political, and it turned me off. At least mine doesn't do that as well. Mine's like the closest thing I like using besides Twitter. Just find me on there and read it. This is way less bullshit politics. Anyways, that is it for now. here. Hopefully Final Fantasy Square Enix solves this problem, and that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, brothers, women, as always. Yeah, who's fingers as always. We'll talk with me, Geek Motors. I'll see you next week. Good night, night, wherever I'm in the world out there. Stay tuned for your content channel because we're getting wins and money for your dramas and muscles. Celebrity gossip moves on a while and money is again. TV show moves and celebrity gossip moves. I'll be once in a while and reaction will be as well. Peace out, my circle. Is a nice little side. Go on, I'm out. Stay safe. Later.